righty, all righty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day two uh, of our digital fast, uh, where I just come on here and just talk about what I'm experiencing through this digital fast, uh, what I've been reading, uh, how I feel like God is speaking to me and walking me through uh, this journey and just journey about life in general um, as we're going through uh, this uh, this digital fast series. Okay. So again, we're on day two. Um, and I think, um, the biggest thing that I've learned over these, uh, these last couple of days, now I've been doing this now, let me just throw out a disclaimer. I've already been fasting. I'm just bringing you guys along for 40 days. So I'm, I'm going to continue to do this as well until I get to 40 days with you guys. I'm on my personal 40 days, but I'm also walking you guys through 40 days as well if you guys decide to do this. Um, so this is day two and um, where we are fasting totally from social media, every social media platform, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, threads, Facebook Messenger, Facebook, Facebook Marketplace, no play. <laughs> No Facebook Marketplace, all right. But every other social media, we are we are we are fasting from uh, to get closer to God and to see what He wants to say to His people, okay? Uh, I.e., you individually. Um, day two has been very interesting because um, I've already been again. I've already been kind of walking through this fast, um, and so the 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 biggest thing for me right now that I'm learning is to slow down. Like that has been the biggest, just overarching theme that like, I feel like God is like getting me to see now is like, Hey, dummy. No, but <laughs> he not going to say dummy, but <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, I gotta joke a little bit. I'm a big jokester. So I gotta throw in a little joke. Um, but no, but, but what, what, what he's telling me right now is like, Hey, like <clears throat> you're doing all this work on social media and you're, you're putting your best foot forward and whatever. And that's great, but you've lost me in the process of everything that you're doing. Um, which is powerful enough in and of itself. Like that alone is a word for somebody out there, including myself. Cause when, when, when I was walking through that with one of my buddies yesterday, or it was the day before or one of the two, um, I was like, dang man, like that's so true. <laughs> like, like I've been doing all of these things with like, not saying that, and they're good things, but I've lost God in the process of doing all of these things so, because if, if, if y'all know, if for those of y'all that don't know me, or even if you do, I am a worker, like I'm going to work. I'm going to, I'm going to put my best foot forward. I'm going to continue to grind. If I, if I see a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel, I'm going to pursue it. Like I'm, I'm going to push and I'm going I'm to go. Um, but I just feel like over these last couple of years, I've done a lot of things, good things, but I've just done them without God. And he's like, this is not what he's saying verbatim, but this is just what I feel like he's telling me is like, yo dude, like you, you've experienced so much hurt in your past and you've buried it on top of work that you will never heal and get to where you get to where you're going to go. If you don't stop, like if you don't stop, if you don't slow down, if you don't figure out a way to get back to me, you're going to continue to bury yourself in work and in work and in work. And you're never going to be get anywhere with it because you're, you're building your foundation on rocky sand, on rocky ground, on sand, on, um, on things that don't matter at the end of the day. And that was a word in and of itself for me. I, I about lost it when, when we, when I had coffee the other day, cause like, as I was talking to my buddy, uncovering half of this stuff. Like I was like, dude, like, first of all, I can't even believe I'm venting to you because it's very rare for me, to, for me to vent to anybody. I, I, I don't, I don't vent. I don't take my problems to nobody. I, I, I just don't, I've never been that person. I've never been that kind of that guy or whatever. Um, 
but as I was venting to this dude, I was like, dude, I really need to go to counseling. Like there, there, there's just a lot. And he, and he brought that up. Like he was like, dude, this sounds like you're carrying some heavy baggage. Like you should consider going to counseling. And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I was like, I, I've, I've never, ever been to counseling ever. Um, never even thought, well, I'm, I, I've had some thoughts about counseling, but never like to the point that it's like, okay, like I gotta go. Like I've again, just buried that stuff and like replaced it with doing all these other things, good things that seem like they're, you know, whatever. And they're all great things. And, and that all that stuff I've truly worked hard for, but it's like, I've never like taken the time to slow down and get to really experience healing and really get to experience God's presence and peace in my life. I've, I've never done it. Like I've just been so busy with work over the years, like that I've just never slowed down and gotten the chance to really stop process what's happened over these 27 years of my career. I call it, I call my life a career. So over 27 years of my career, like just never really slowing down and stopping and really assessing everything and taking inventory of what's happened in my life. I've never done that. Like I've, I've always just been a person to just go go, go, go. We got to hit these goals. We got to get here. We got to get to this. We got to get to that. And again, those are good things. But when you replace them with God, they become dangerous to your spiritual health. And so like, I, I just like what this social media fast is teaching me on top of the study group that we're doing at, at Hope Fellowship, uh, which is like a private thing. That, well, I, it's not a private thing, but like w w there's just a, it's, it's like a study group, select group of people that do this thing, a study group with a book called Practicing the Way. The biggest thing on top of that and the digital fast book, along with reading my Bible, the biggest thing that I'm learning right now is to, to really like stop, <laughs> like stop trying to work so hard. Like, and is that it? If I'm being honest with you, <laughs> is that ever going to happen with me? No, it's not. Like, I'm going to continue to work hard. But I think the biggest thing that I'm learning right now is if you're working hard in the wrong direction. Right. <laughs> you can you you can finish that sentence. If 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 you're working hard in the wrong direction. It's hard work instead of instead of it being something that you enjoy or that you want to do. It's just something that you got to do because you got to do it. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever the case is for whatever your situation is. And so that's the biggest thing that I'm learning in day two and quote unquote day two is just a hey, you got to take a serious inventory of your life because you've been through some stuff, bro. <laughs> Like, like, bro, you, you been through it, big dog. Like you, you need to, you need to chill. You need to like stop replacing your hurt with work and you need to just take time to heal you. So when you get back to a hundred percent, now you're working in the right direction. Now you're going toward what God has for you instead of just shooting in the dark and trying to see what's going to pop, what's not going to pop, yada, yada. Right. So those are the, th th that's, that's been the main thing along with going to counseling, which I don't know how this is going to work, <laughs> but, uh, but we're going to do it though, because, uh, not only because my buddy recommended it to me, but, um, uh, but because I really in the bottom of my heart, I think I need it. And so, uh, I don't have like a lot of baggage or like a lot of stuff to unpack or whatever. But I do have stuff to unpack, though, that I've never sat down and talked to anybody with. I've I've held on to all that for 27 years. Like, I've never sat down and been like, hey, like, this is truly what's going on. Like, I'll just say, hey, it's all right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's OK. Yeah, I've told people some some, you know, just some, to get them off me. But like, never like, uh, hey, like this is what's really happening. Like, this is what's really going on. Like, let me break it down. Cause in the past too, like when I've done that with small stuff, and I think this is why this kind of stopped me from doing it. Cause in the past, like 
when I would go share advice with somebody or tell somebody, a, a, not a dark secret, but just like just a, something that I don't want to go public, it ends up going public. Has that ever happened to you where like you just you feel like the stuff that you tell people, they don't actually hold on to it. It's just like they just go tell everybody and then all your stuff is out there. All of your secrets are out there. Everything is out there and you have no, and you are like, what the heck, bro? Like I told you to keep this to yourself or in our group or whatever. And now everybody in their mama <laughs> knows what's going on. And it's like, dude, like what, what, what did we just talk about? Like, so, but <clears throat> I'm learning now the more that I'm spending time away from social media, the more that I'm learning that people want to be there for you. People genuinely do like, you just got to be upfront and honest, like, and really tell them the real spill of what, and not everybody you, you got a, a close group of people, or if you don't, I encourage you to get a close group of people that can, that can guide you through these things. But like for me, I got about like eight mentors and I got like a, I have a very, very, very small group of like real steppers <laughs> that I trust, you know what I'm saying? Um, and so, uh, yeah, like, but guys, I would encourage you if you're not sharing stuff with people, if you're not inviting people into your world and giving and allowing them to help you allowing them to sh give you another perspective on something. If you're not allowing people to do that, you're going to get hurt more and more. And the more you get hurt, the more you, the more you, the more you bury it under selfish ambition. And then the more you bury it under selfish ambition, the harder it's going to be for you to unpack that stuff when it's time to unpack it. That's what I'm learning right now is like, it's going to take a long time, like, not like years, okay? Like, but I'm talking, when I say a long time, I mean like weeks. Like, it's going to take weeks for me to unpack the hurt that I've been through because I've buried it so deep. And, um, and yeah, so I would just encourage y'all, man, to, uh, to just talk to somebody about what you're struggling with, what you're going through. It's super important. Um, I think community is very helpful. I used to not think that at all. Um, but now I, um, I see the value in community. Um, obviously you don't have to tell people everything, um, which I mean, if, if you want to, that, that, that's up to you share as God's leading you. But, um, yeah, community is super important. I, I value that very heavily. Um, and I'm just excited to see what God's going to do through this counseling session. I, I don't know when I'm going to start. Of course, I'll update you guys when I start, but I have no idea uh, when I'm actually going to start. It'll probably be like next week or the week after toward the end of the month, toward the end of the month for sure. Um, but yeah, man, uh, that is about it. Days, I've, I haven't had any withdrawals. Like I said, I, I've been doing this for eight days now. Today's October 8th. I've been doing this for about eight days now, but I'm just updating you guys on day two and just kind of just how I'm feeling through these days. Um, I'm on my pers own personal schedule, but I'm going to continue to update you guys with daily stuff that I'm learning as I'm going through these days. Um, and so, yeah, rain, rain or shine. Uh, snow hurricane whatever we we gonna find a, oh oh and speaking of hurricane i'm praying for everybody that's been affected by this hurricane this is no joke um if you've lost anything if you've had to evacuate if you've had to uh find another way to do something because of this hurricane i am praying for you you are in my prayers uh very heavily um as i think we're expected to get another one uh, here soon. So, but I think, I think it's going through Florida. I think if I'm not mistaken, I, I, I don't watch the news like that, but just from what I've seen on my phone, um, when I go to, uh, like a web browser and I go to, and I'm just searching something up, it pops up at the bottom that there's another hurricane coming. So 
I'm just praying for everybody that's going to be affected by this hurricane. I'm praying for peace, uh, for comfort, uh, for you and your family. Um, and yeah, so that's going to be it for me, uh, for day two of, uh, this digital 40 day fast. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Uh, thank you guys so much for listening. I'm going to pray us out and then, yeah. Uh, God, thank you for just helping us realize uh, that we need to slow down. Uh, that a lot of us are doing a lot of work and selfish ambition. And uh, that's not good when we need to be uh, in step with you and in step with your will. So Lord, I pray that you help us to remove things that need to be removed and add things that need to be added to our life um, for your glory, Lord. And, and, so that way, and so that way we are in step uh, with who you are and with uh, your plan and purpose for our lives, God. Um, for those of us out there that aren't really in community like that, God, I just pray that uh, you start opening doors for us, Lord, to get in community somewhere, uh, that we need to be involved in a community somewhere, that we need to be uh, sharing uh, as you're leading us to uh, with people that care about us the most. Um, yeah, God. We just thank you so much for, for who you are and what you're doing in our lives. And uh, for those of us that or for those that are going to do this fast or that are joining in late or whatever the case is, God, we just pray that um, you give us strength and stamina uh, to do this fast or for 40 days. Uh, thank you, Jesus, for who you are. It's in your holy name. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Well, tomorrow around the same time, expect day three. Uh, YouTube, I know it, it's kind of seems like we're a day behind. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I'm going to upload this video on YouTube, uh, probably in the morning I'll schedule it for them. And then tomorrow night I'll post another video. That way we're like YouTube and Spotify is like caught up and everybody's on the same page. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much. Appreciate you guys for watching day two. Looking forward to day three tomorrow. Peace.